Hey guys, yesterday we started reading the absent author from the A to Z Mysteries series and we started reading chapter one and we found that Dink, Josh, and Ruth Rose were so excited to go to the bookstore to meet their favorite author and have that author sign their books and then when they got there, the author wasn't there. So today we're going to start chapter two and see if we can figure out where the author is. Chapter two. Dink raced into the book nook. Josh and Ruth Rose were right behind him. They found three seats behind Tommy Tomko and Eddie Carini. Dink plopped his pack on the floor. The clock over the cash register said three minutes after 11. Where is he? Dink whispered to Tommy Tomko. Tommy turned around. Beats me. He's not here yet. And Mr. Paskey looks worried. What's going on? Ruth Rose said. Dink told her and Josh what Tommy had said. Paskey does look pretty nervous, Josh whispered. Mr. Paskey always looks nervous, Dink whispered back, looking around the room. He saw about 30 kids he knew. Mrs. Davis, Dink's neighbor, was looking at gardening books. Dink checked out the other grown-ups in the store. None of them looked like a famous mystery writer. Mr. Paskey stood up. Boys and girls, welcome to the book nook. Wallace Wallace should be here any second. How many of you have books to be autographed? Everyone waved a book in the air. Wonderful. I'm sure Wallace Wallace will be happy to know that Greenlawn is a reading town. The kids clapped and cheered. Dink glanced at the clock. Five past eleven. He swallowed, trying to stay calm. Wallace Wallace was late, but it was only by five minutes. Slowly, five more minutes passed. Dink felt his palms getting damp. Where is Wallace Wallace? He wondered. Some of the kids started getting restless. Dink heard one kid say, Whenever I'm late, I get grounded. So where is he? Josh asked. Ruth Rose looked at her watch. It's only ten after, she said. Famous people are always late. Now Dink stared at the clock. The big hand jerked forward, pausing then wobbled forward again. At 11.15, Mr. Paskey stood up again. I don't understand why Wallace Wallace is late, he said. Dink noticed that his bald head was shiny with sweat. His bow tie was getting a workout. Mr. Paskey smiled bravely, but his eyes were blinking like crazy through his thick glasses. Shall we give him a few more minutes? The crowd grumbled, Ugh, but nobody wanted to go anywhere. Ruth Rose started to read her book. Josh opened his sketch pad and began drawing Mr. Paskey. Dink turned around and stared at the door. He mentally ordered Wallace Wallace to walk through it. You have to come, thought Dink. In my head, I'm imagining him sitting there. Eyes kind of squished like he's focusing really hard, going, you're going to come. You're going to come. I know you are. Oops, I lost my page. Here we go. I'm thinking about if I had someone, a famous person, any famous person, maybe a basketball player, football player, maybe a singer, or even an author. If I was waiting on them and they never showed up, I would be pretty disappointed. Ever since he had received Wallace Wallace's letter, he'd thought about only one thing, meeting him today. Suddenly, Dink felt his heart skip a beat. The letter! Short of being kidnapped, the letter said, nothing will stop me from coming. Kidnapped. 
Dink shook himself. Of course, Wallace Wallace hadn't been kidnapped. But Mr. Paskey stood again, but this time he wasn't smiling. I'm sorry, kids, he said, but Wallace Wallace doesn't seem to be coming after all. The kids groaned. They got up, scraping chairs and bumping knees. Mr. Paskey apolog apologized to them as they crowded past, heading for the door. I've read every single one of his books, Dink heard Amy Fow Flower tell another girl. Now I'll probably never meet anyone famous. I can't believe we gave up a soccer game for this. Tommy Tomko muttered to Eddie Carini on their way out. Ruth Rose and Josh went next, but Dink remained in his seat. He was too stunned to move. He felt the letter through his jeans, short of being kidnapped. Finally, Dink got up and walked out. Josh and Ruth Rose were waiting for him. What's the matter? Ruth Rose said. You look sick. I am sick, Dink mumbled. I invited him here. It's my fault. What's your fault? Josh asked. This, he said, thrusting the letter into Josh's hands. Wallace Wallace has been kidnapped. There's no picture on that page. And that's the end of the chapter. I'm wondering... Did he really get kidnapped? Or did his alarm just not go off? Because sometimes that happens. Sometimes alarms don't go off and people don't wake up on time. Or maybe his car broke down and he couldn't get there. Anything could have caused him to be 30 minutes late. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe he just got sick and didn't have a way to call anyone. Or maybe he really did get cat kidnapped. This is what I love about chapter books. At the end of every chapter, they leave you wanting to read more and more until you get to the end. But we'll have to wait till tomorrow. Bye, guys.